This example shows you how to find voltage gain V out over V in. So from V in, we are going to V out. For a circuit like this that has three op amps in linear region, to, and the, the thing is there is a feedback loop involved in the system. As you can see from V out back to this intermediate node, there is this uh, feedback loop, and uh, we have to consider that as well. Okay, so in this scenario, let's make the assumption that all the op amps are properly biased and linear region of operation, not saturated. As a result, the virtual short that says V positive equal to V negative input terminal for each of op amps would be valid. So op amp 1, 2, 3, uh, v, v positive input equal to V negative input. Now from V in, we can go to V1. Uh, and as you can see, simply from V in to V1, you have just an inverting amplifier. And for inverting amplifier, the gain is well known. It is just V1 over V in equal to minus, so equal to minus the feedback resistor 2R divided by uh, the input resistor, in this case R. So the gain is negative 2. Okay, so we got to V1. Now, from V1, uh, there is a contribution of uh, V1 to V out, or let's say to this node, we'll name it V2. And then also there is the V out itself via the 2R feedback loop that contributes um, as another input. So think of it this way. I'm going to draw it here. So for op amp number 2, as if this is your op amp, so for op amp number 2, as if this is your op amp minus, plus, and plus is grounded, so uh, AC grounded, at least for the analysis we have, then we have a 2R resistor, and uh, the feedback resistor is also 2R, and uh, this is V2. Also, so, so this is from V1, as you can see on top. Now we have another 2R resistor, which is let me show the with different colors so that it is clear. So I'm going to show with red color. This 2R resistor is here. And as you can see, one end of it is connected to this node, which I am showing here. So this node is exactly here. And one other end of 2R is connected to V out. So I'm going to put V out here. So it is as if we have two uh, voltage supply that are feeding uh, that are connected to the input of this op amp number 2 and then via 2R, which is this 2R, we are connecting to uh, the V2 at the output of that and then V2 is going to uh, an op amp in non-inverting uh, mode or let's say connection or format in the form of 2R and then we have an R going to ground. So this R. I mean. Okay, so for the inverting amplifier, for the non-inverting amplifier, things are clear. So we know that the gain of this portion is as simple as the gain, the well-known gain for non-inverting amplifier, which is V out over V2 is equal to 1 plus, because this is a negative feedback and we're assuming op amp is a linear operation, linear range of operation, therefore this is simply Again, mutual short is valid, V plus equal to V minus, and uh, V out over V2 is 1 plus 2R, which is this resistor, divided by this resistor R. So the gain is plus 3 from V2 to V out. So the only remaining portion is just considering um, this portion that I'm going to highlight with different color. So now we need to deal with this portion. And uh, the simplest way to deal with that is just using... Uh, superposition meaning that once assume you have v1 once assume you have v out and then consider the sum of contribution that these guys have at v2 so what, what i can say is v2 is equal to from v1 to v2 as you can see so i'm going to show it uh, here so from uh, v1 to v out v2 assume that v out is not there so when you assume V out is not there, you're connecting it to ground. So basically as if this 2R resistor is not there, it's as if this node is connected to ground as it is supposed to be because of virtual short that says negative and positive input terminal of a linearly operated properly bias op amp should be uh, same voltage. And since positive terminal is zero, negative terminal is zero. So 
Therefore, when V out is just uh, removed for now, shorted, then it's as if just V1 generates a current through 2R and goes to uh, the feedback resistor 2R to the out. So effectively, we have just the inverting amplifier. So you can say V2 is negative. I'm going to clean up so that things are easily observable. Negative feedback resistor 2R. Okay, so divide by input resistor connecting to V1. So 2R times V1. And the same thing can be said for V out. If I now go back to scheme we had, so V out is now here, we are using superposition. Let's, now that we know the contribution v of V1 to V2, let's now short, uh, short V1 to ground as if it's not there. So now it's just a matter of V out contributing to output via this current that can only go through the two R resistors in series and nothing can go through input terminal of op amp because uh, it has infinite input impedance for ideal op amp. Okay, so in that case you would say the same thing. So we have a inverting amplifier, amplifier structure and then the gain is again feedback resistor two, minus feedback resistor 2R divide by the resistor connected to V out 2R. So V out. Okay, so what I learned as a result of this is, therefore, I just un understand that V out, V2 is effectively minus V1 minus V out. Okay, so almost there. Um, and uh, I'm going to combine equation number one with equation number two that we found here with equation number three that we know was the last piece of the cascade of gains. So if we do that, what we learn is this. So V out is three times. So again, uh, from here, we know that V out is three times V2. Okay, but V2 from equation number two can be replaced by negative V1 minus V out. So it becomes three and we can factor out negative outside. So V1 plus V out. Now, from equation one, we now V1, you know, V1 is two times Vn, negative two times Vn. So now, therefore, V out is equal to, using uh, equation one, V out is negative three times, negative two times. Uh, I'm using result from equation V1 to substitute for V1 here. Equation one says V1 is negative two Vn, and then keep V out as it is. Okay. Just uh, reshuffle things around. So V out is equal to 6 V in and then minus 3 V out. So we have to move this uh, minus 3 V out to the other side because we also have a V out there. So it becomes 4 V out equal to 6 V in. And therefore, the uh, final result is V out over V in is equal to 6 over 4, which means uh, 3 over 2, 1.5. That's the overall gain of this circuit. It has a positive gain with a 1.5. Another way to look at this, if you, so we're done, that's the gain. We found the gain of the circuit, but if you wanted to use the feedback uh, theory and feedback method, then that's also possible. By that, I mean, when you look at this circuit on top, effectively what you have is... Um, the V1, so let me just uh, show you V1. I'm going to use a color here. So V1 is negative 2V in. So what you see is negative 2V in is applied at the input. Okay, yeah, negative 2V in is applied at the input and then you have V out as well. And then you can see that because of inverting amplifier that is uh, shown, amplifier number uh, using op amp number two, then uh, we have a situation that there is a gain of negative one for both of them. So effectively what is happening is, it's as if you say, I'm trying to find a better spot to show you what I'm, what I'm trying to say. So it's as if you say we have, let me use a blue color. So negative two V out, comes in and it will face a gain of negative one it's added to um, you can say 
negative it's added to you can say negative one gain coming from v out because that's exactly what's happening we have v out that is appearing here and then it goes through v2 uh, with a gain of negative one and it's added to the contribution of input as is shown in this adder and then we have a gain of three which is the gain of the non-inverting amplifier setting as we discussed uh, earlier in this video so a gain of three there going to form the output so effectively and you can sh of course what you can do is you can shift this negative one to inside the loop it doesn't matter so um, uh, all i'm trying to say is this this in this example you can shift um, that negative one inside as well if you want but if not that's fine what you have is um, this scenario that effectively the closed loop gain um, so closed loop gain is equal to uh, the famous equation open loop gain divide by one in this case if you say that there is a negative one here so one uh, plus and then as i said maybe maybe the best thing to simplify everything here is just uh, push this two negative ones inside and put it as a part of negative three so effectively these gains, gains become one so it, then it become one <coughs> minus and uh, what we have is uh, again uh, open loop gain times a feedback loop feedback let's say gain okay what is the benefit of this well uh, what you have here is uh, effectively the open loop gain let me use a different color so this is the uh, second method I'm showing so open loop gain is negative 3 it is this gain and then so it's negative 3 as well here and then feedback loop gain because we moved negative to negative to to form the negative 3 feedback loop gain is 1 so as a result what you get is simply so let me just write it here so feedback loop gain is just one and the open loop gain is negative three repeated so in the denominator we have one minus minus three becomes uh, uh, four so we get minus three over four that is that minus three over four is effectively for the gain of let me just uh, make sure that the right color is there okay so effectively for the gain of this portion that has a feedback loop but before that you also have negative two times v in so in order to find v out over v in you need to also multiply this by negative two and as a result you get three over uh, three over two positive which is exactly 1.5 that we found so all i'm saying is you could you can take a can look at this circuit and approach the solving of the voltage gain via different methods either the method i initially described or either or using the uh, modeling of the circuit using the op uh, open loop and feedback loop and and, and uh, then based on uh, this formula that is well known uh, find the closed loop gain which is the overall gain that uh, is uh, 3 over 2 or 1.5 i hope that this is helpful